or cooked pizza dough, I should say, you use flour. I'm using ground flax seeds. So if it's too wet, you can add the flax seeds in there. Do you want to add a little bit for you, Mitchell? And you can add them in there so it's not so wet. So then, okay, I've got my half a cup. And you can see the square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a half a cup in four areas of the dehydrator sheet. I don't know if this is that clear on the instructions. This is the easiest way to get a whole pizza. So you do it in fours, like that. Then what I'm going to do is continue to still add the oil to my gloves and my hands. So you can see this here while the kids are making theirs. And then I just press Okay, so you take each square, or each, you know, half a cup, and you just press it with your palms, and see how the gloves make it with a little bit of olive oil on there. It works so good to give it. Now, this seems like a lengthy process, but it is totally worth it. It's going to taste so good. I've had people tell me it's the best pizza they've ever had, even if it wasn't raw. I mean, and these are people that aren't don't even eat raw food. So this is the, a great vegetarian pizza Hi. recipe that you can do as a family. So once, as you can see, it's starting to form a square pizza. So now after I've pressed it, see it's on the entire... Now if you want it to be round, you can cut off the corners and make it more round if you'd like. So basically we have a, a large pizza here. Now the thing I found about the, <laughs> the buckwheat crust is if you leave it like this, it'll break in certain areas. So what I've been accustomed to doing is cutting it into fours. And you can just do this with a back of just a plastic fork or knife or just something, you know, the spatula. And so you've got four equal squares. And then after you put it in the dehydrator, which we'll do over here, show you some before and afters. And one thing that's great about these gloves is now my hands are clean. So, and I reuse these, because when it dries, even if there's a little bit on there, it'll just come right off. So go ahead and put it in your oven at 105 degrees and let it go for about five to six hours. Then take one of these. So if your pizza's right here, take one that doesn't have anything on it and just flip it off, flip it over, and peel the Teflex sheet off. You can also make breadsticks, twisties, all kind of fun things. And then make a garlic butter with olive oil, fresh garlic, some salt, and lemon juice. Just a tiny bit of lemon juice. So I'm going to put that in here and then show you the final ingredient. So here you go, here's your buckwheat. Now I've used golden flax. If you use the darker flax seeds, it will turn out a little bit darker. But those are your four, so it, when you're gonna make your pizza, you'll still have a large pizza, it'll just be divided into fours, or each person can have their own individual pizza. So now let's make the toppings. 